Hello. Not yet. Hold okay. on. Are you ready? Okay. I'm sorry. I'll tell. I'll give her the signal. All right. We're ready. Go. Hello. My name is Julie Gordon Well. I did a great thing, which I will tell you about in a moment. I was born October 31st, 1860, in Savannah, Georgia, where I grew up. I had many siblings. One time, I was pulling saltwater taffy with them and my cousins. Saltwater taffy is very sticky, so naturally, trouble started. It started when one of the boys said, I do believe that taffy is the same color as your hair. So we all decided it was a good idea to braid the taffy into my hair to see if it was the same color. The result was cutting almost all of my hair off. I also had parents with amazing backgrounds. I looked up to them, and my siblings say I resemble my mother. I had earaches as a child, which is part of the reason I lost most of my hearing as an adult. Another event that took place in my childhood was the Civil War, and while part of my family was fighting for the North, another part was fighting for the South. Some of my hobbies as a child were creating art, which I continued as adult, poetry, and plays. My first school was taught by them, so Lucille Boy and her sister, and they together taught my whole family and some of my friends. Then I was later sent to a boarding school in Virginia and finally to a finishing school in New York. One of my hobbies I had as an adult was traveling, mostly to Europe. One time when I was traveling, I had a macaw named Blue Boy. Since I was traveling, I couldn't keep him, so we sent him to the zoo. I visited him, uh, I visited him often, and everyone had a good laugh when I left because he would call after me, Come back, Mama! Oh. Another hobby I had as an adult was art, which I started as a child. I lost most of my hearing as an adult in two separate accidents. In the first accident, I, my stubbornness and I convinced the doctor to use a new treatment to help my earaches. The result was losing almost all of my hearing in one ear. In the second accident, a grain of good luck rice got lodged in my ear at my wedding. During my honeymoon, people noticed that I was feeling sick and rushed me to the hospital. During the operation, I punctured my eardrum and lost all of the hearing in that ear. Most people know me for creating Girl Scouts, an organization which helps girls be themselves. I worked hard to keep Girl Scouts going. I also have to thank Sir Robert Baden Powell and the Boy Scouts, because without them, I would have never found out nor founded Girl Scouts. One night, I made the famous phone call. I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all of America and all the world, and we're going to start it tonight. Those are my exact words. The first Girl Scout meeting was held March 12, 1912, in Savannah, Georgia, my hometown. I served as the Girl Scout president for a while until changing my title to founder. One time, at an official Girl Scout board meeting, we had a new line of Girl Scout shoes. Since I was at the front, nobody could see them because I was wearing them. So I solved that problem. I just twisted my skirt in between like this and did in between my legs like this and did a handstand. Don't you think you could see my shoes then? <laughs> By creating Girl Scouts, I impacted bending girls' lives. Any questions? Um, Mariah. How did you die? Um, I died of breast cancer, um, I think February 17th, <coughs> 1927, at the age of 66. Ella? Um, how did you die? Um, at the first meeting, there were 18 girls. Will. Yeah. <laughs> um, Albert. Um, when did you, like, sound Because I know it took a lot of time to... I don't really remember the date, but, the first, like I said, the first Girl Scout meeting was held March 12th, 1912. So. Mr. Fellows? Anastasia, I really loved your speech. What I like the 